Greetings, CCC. This is the final week of our Lent experience. This is Holy Week, beginning with Palm Sunday and ending on Resurrection Sunday, commonly known as Easter. So if you haven't joined us for our Lent experience, you can sign up at cccinfo.org forward slash Lent. Lent has been a great time of turning to God as a community in prayer, study, and service. And a common practice for Christians during Lent is fasting. But what is fasting? Fasting is simply the practice of self-denial over a period of time. For Lent, some of us fasted from sodas, meat, or bread. Others gave up TV or limited social media. Others gave up their time through community service. Others still fasted from spending on themselves and gave generously to church and charities. Bottom line, Christians fast in different ways for Lent. But why do we fast at all? Family, we fast to feast. Feasting might be far from what you connect to fasting, but it's time to reset our mindset. Remember, attitude determines approach, and approach determines success or failure. We aren't meant to sit around missing TV, longing for a cup of coffee, or waiting for Lent to end so we can post again on Twitter. Instead, through fasting, our soul is feasting on God's presence, power, promise, and purpose. We fast to feast on God's presence, we schedule our lives around what we love most. When we love someone, we do whatever it takes to get into their presence. We fast to feast on God's power. Fasting requires God's power, and fasting creates the space for the Holy Spirit to change us from the inside out. We fast to feast on God's promises in His Word, promises like He will never leave us or forsake us, and that He has a good plan for us. We fast to feast on God's purpose for our lives, like practicing self-control over our appetites and desires, to identify with the less fortunate and grow in generosity. Studying the scripture to see life from God's point of view. Fasting reminds us that there will be an everlasting banquet. One day the feast will never end. All our longings will be fulfilled when every knee will bow and every tongue confess that Jesus is Lord. So what will it be? Will we feast on God's presence? Or will TV and updating social media consume our time? Will we feed our souls by feasting on the word? Or are we defined by laziness and greed? We don't pray and fast to earn God's love, but we do pray and fast to abide in his love. We don't earn God's favor, but it takes effort to walk in honesty, love, and generosity. As it is written, Open your mouth and taste. Open your eyes and see how good God is. Blessed are you who run to him. Let's fast to feast. Amen. God bless.